Ted first. Good morning, Teddy. Has Teddy still got his lead on? Yeah. Right, the, And um, guess whose birthday it is today? I told you that, so I'm not going to burn that. I don't want to remember anymore. It's the Valley's birthday. Um, yeah. Well, anyway, it's a normal day. It's a Sunday. It's the day after the King's coronation, if anyone watched it. Um, I didn't because I was working. But I'm working again today on Sunday. I've got a couple of deliveries to do. Uh, a couple of bits and bobs. I'm just heading back to the yard now. I'm not going to be out all day. I've got to go and pick up some gear from a place called um, Albury, which is about 15 miles away from here. Uh, and then that'll be it for the day then. So I'm not too bad, is it? Then I'll go got, back and have a bit of breakfast. I've got a brunch. Having a bit of brunch. Some cakes. We've got to go and collect some cakes. Yeah. Off uh, uh, Jack. I'm not working tomorrow, which is Bank Holiday Monday. So I'm going to have a nice, well deserved day off. Uh, and then back to the grind to go. Scone. Scone? <laughs> Could be having scones at the brunch. <laughs> Brett's. Oh. <laughs> Back to the grindstone on Tuesday morning, and uh, I'm expecting to be a busy one as well, so I do need a bit of rest tomorrow. Right, this morning we got eight bags of them, eight bags of them, and then we got half a bulk bag of organic compost. <laughs> Did wonder. Just checking if it's working all right. Have you turned it on? Is it working? Can you hear me? No? I'm it. Don't swear then. I'm pressing it. You go next then. Hello? That's better. Hello? When you talk, press the button, leave it, and then talk. Says you, who has a conversation with yourself and don't even press it. It's all I hear out of your mouth lately, young lady. Come on then, old man. Come on, get on with it. That's my thing. She's not getting me with that one. Dear, I've dropped the camera. Oh, think, one, two, one, two. Are you copying me? I'm not copying you. You swear too much. Are you copying me? How did she know what I said? She, she can lip read from all that at the top of the yard. I can see you, you know. Well, she can't really literally. You Very good, is it? Oh man. That could have been catastrophe. 
preposterous. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember where I got up to, but you sort of get the gist of things. Like Sarah comes down now, wait by the pallet. I've got soil in the bucket. I'll get a bag off here. Try and get one. And you put the bag on the bucket. Very simple. Like so. And you run back in the cab. Pull the lever. Clean fills the bag up. Are you ready? Over. And you might be saying, or you might be not saying, you might be thinking, oh, he's got a new eye this. And you're right. I got it from my birthday, and I got it, mate. Nice little uh, touch, isn't it? Better than the last present you got me for Christmas, anyway. I've got to say, you got me a security light for the back garden. And the one before that, he bought me a bottle of chili sauce. And then what happens after the pallets have gone up there? Sarah runs over, gets the tickets, and puts them on the bag, like so. There you have it. So then we know where each bag's got to go to and when we put them onto the lorry and they get offloaded again they know where they've got to go to as well. So just organises things a little bit better doesn't it? Right I'm going to grab a coffee now. Can you hold the fort for two minutes? No can do. I, could, I didn't know she was coming down there. I could have just asked her. Say a quick hello to Ted, look. Say morning, Ted. Ted's just woke up again, aren't they? <laughs> a little quick funny story here. Just, just put some temporary traffic lights outside the yard this morning. Nightmare, you know what they're like at the best of times. Well, both ends of the lights, I think it's a freeway system, but all the ends of the lights are on green. Everyone's been going mad here, blowing their horns, everything gridlocked. People are having to back down the road and uh, God knows what happened. But it was chaos. It was just everyone shouting, screaming and blowing their horns. Henry's just come in there. He's just come and grab the trailer. He's got to go and pick the bobcat up. I'm not sure where he's getting that from, but it's got to be dropped uh, to a place called Tidby Green. Um, and that's going out for a day. Then we have... Uh, then when that comes back, that is then going out for a week. Um, into a place called Shirley. Got a lovely morning this morning. It's a bit, a uh, bit fresh though, but it's a nice, uh, it's a nice old start to the day. So last night I, uh, after work, I had to go and pick up some tools, um, which we dropped off last week. If you watched the other, uh, was it the last video or the one before? Uh, it was just a mixer and a whacker plate, which they had for the weekend. I had to go and collect that. So I got that last night. That's over there. I'm going to get that off now. Check that that's all okay, and. Uh, and get it all ready for the next time it goes out. I've also got Sam coming in this morning, he's bringing the jet wash back. Um, 
and the turbo lance and he's had that for a week so we've also got to get some bags ready and everything else but first of all i'd just like to take the opportunity to say thanks so much for all the all the subscribers and all the comments and everything else that all the input people have uh, have, have put on the channel it's the the comments are out of this world um so i'm just letting you know it doesn't go amiss you are appreciated and i hope that i've answered every single comment on there now there has been a lot of comments probably seven or eight hundred comments in the last two weeks um so i have tried my best to answer every single one hopefully i have if i haven't then send me another one and i'll make sure that i'll prioritize it but uh but yeah it's really appreciated in my van that I'm dealing with at the minute, just getting tipped off uh, and then we've got a few more bags to do quickly before the lorry comes, uh, get that loaded and uh, get him out of the way as well because we, we've still got these traffic lights out the front and they're causing, it's causing chaos through deliveries and that and wagons coming in and out so it's one of them things isn't it. 